Hello and welcome to this new Pandas tutorial. Today we are having a look at how to read and write Excel files with Pandas. These tools are very essential because in real world projects we often work with Excel sheets uh, to import the data, to work with the data in Pandas and to export the data again back to Excel sheets. And today we will learn the essential Pandas methods that exist to work with these Excel sheets. So um, we have an example Excel sheet here. As you can see, there is a name column, gender column, job column, and an age column of four fictional persons that I came up with. And yeah, let's start. First of all, we import the pandas library. So we say import pandas as pd. Then we um, create a pandas data frame and we assign the table that we've seen in the Excel sheet to this data frame. So we say df for data frame and then pd.readExcel. This is the function that reads in the Excel, Excel sheets and creates a data frame out of it. And inside the parentheses we put in the name of the Excel sheet which is Excel file.xlsx. So Excel file.xlsx. And then we output the data frame. And as you can see here we have the same the same data frame that we've seen in the Excel sheet. So this is basically how the read Excel function works. Um, but there are a lot of parameters that we can use. For example, we might want to import the Excel data, but um, adapt the data type of a specific column. For example, we might want to change the age, the, the data type of the age column to float. As you can see here, it's an integer, but we might want to have it as a float. So therefore we use the D type parameter. And this is how it looks like. Again, we say df equals pd dot read Excel. Again, we put in the we put in the name of the Excel file dot xlsx, and then we assign the d type parameter. And inside here, we put in a dictionary, and we say as the key of the dictionary the columns that we want to change the data type of and this time it's only the H column and we assign flow to it to say okay we want to import this this Excel sheet and change the H column to a float data type and the output as you can see um, compared to the other data frame you see that now we have float values in the H column and yeah, we see that this indeed worked. We can also prove that with doing this, df of h dot d type, which states the data type of the h column. And as you can see, the oops, the data type of the h column is indeed float or float64 as it is in pandas. Now inside the Excel sheet, you might have seen it before, there are two tables, table one and table two. And in table two, there's another data set. Uh, it's several animals and the food they consume and where they live. Um, and we now we want to import this Excel sheet to pandas. And we need to say that this, this data set is in um, table number two. And we can do this by applying the the sheet name parameter and this is how we do it again we create another data frame df2 and we assign pd dot again read excel again we state the file uh, the file name which is excel file dot x l s x and then we assign the sheet name parameter and we say table 2 because that was the name of the sheet. Then we output the data frame. And as you can see, we now have the, the other data frame imported or the other Excel sheet imported as a data frame. 
but now there is this strange extra column, unnamed column zero. And this is because in the Excel file, we have a, the, the A column uh, consists own, own indexes. Um, in the other table, we did not have this, but now we have an extra indexes and we want to get rid of them. And this is where we apply the index call index column parameter to say that we do not want to use this um, or that we want to have the the own um, the own indexes as the index that we import to the data frame and this is how it looks like we say df2 equals pd dot read excel again the name of the excel file excel file dot x sx again sheet name is table 2 because we want to have this this data set imported and then we assign the index column parameter it says index underscore call and then we say zero to say that we want to have the first column as the index and Sorry, and if we output that, you see that the strange unnamed column is gone and we just have the normal data set as we want to have it displayed. Now that we have seen how to read Excel sheets, we um, can now modify the data. This is not necessary for this tutorial, but it's important you know, to get the whole workflow of working with Excel sheets, so we just do it now. Uh, we use the data frame that we used in the first place, DF, with the name, gender, job, and age. And we just change a little thing here. For example, we could drop the gender column. Um, we create another data frame. And we say from the original data frame, we want to drop the column um, gender and this is what the new data frame looks like. As you can see, um, the gender column is gone, so we have modified the data a little bit. Again, as I said, this is not really necessary in this tutorial, but um, this is just to show you the whole workflow of um, reading data, modifying it and writing it back to Excel. And now, as I said, we get to the next step, which is writing Excel sheets. So we have this newly created data frame, DF3, and we want to export this to Excel. And this is where the to Excel function comes into play. We say DF3 dot to Excel. And inside the function, we put in the new file name. Um, let's just call it new Excel file and the file extension again, xlsx. And as you can see, we do not get an output, but we have another file, as you can see over here. And this is what the new file looks like. We have it right here. And as you can see, we have the data frame from Pandas now inside the new Excel sheet um, without the gender column because we dropped that. And as you can see, we have here um, again additional indexes that we do not need. And therefore, we go back to Pandas and we apply the index parameter. And this is how it looks like. Again, we say df3 to Excel, new Excel file. And we set the index parameter to false to state with that we do not want to have an extra, an extra um, index there. And this does not work because um, the file is still open. But if we close it and we do it again, you see if we open it again, that now 
wait a moment. Yeah, here you can see that the extra indexes are gone. Um, there are several other parameters, but I will just show you one more. Um, let's apply the sheet name parameter that we've seen already in the read Excel function. So we say df3 dot to Excel. Again, the name. Again, the index parameter to false, and now the sheet name parameter to say table one, for example. And now, if we open the new file again, one moment. Yeah, now you see that um, there is indeed this sheet name table one. Um, so now we have seen how to write an object to an, um, you know, to an Excel sheet, but um, it's also possible to write multiple pro pro, um, objects to Excel sheets, and therefore we use the Excel writer object, and this is how we apply it. We use the statement with, which is an, um, you know, a, a statement in Python that is used for easier reading and easier readability and we say with pd dot excel not that excel writer inside here we um, say how we want to call the new file let's create just one extra file we say new sorry new file Let's say new file two dot xlsx, and we say as writer. And below here we say which um, data frames we want to we want to write into Excel. Let's take df two and three. So df two dot to Excel. That's the function that we already know. And here we say writer. We put in the um, variable writer, so to state that we want to um, write this data frame two to the file to the new Excel file, new file two, and we say sheet name equals table one to say that we want to write the data frame two to the sheet which we call table one, and again we um, set the index to false, and here. Below that, we say df3, and here we essentially put in the same thing as above df. to Excel writer sheet name, but this time we do table 2 to say that we want to put the data frame 3 into another sheet which is called table 2. Again, we send, um, set the index to false. And now, as you can see, there is a new file that was created, new file 2. And now we open it. Takes a moment. And as you can see, indeed, there is um, a new Excel file with two sheets, table 1 and table 2. In table 1, we have the, the animal data frame. And in table 2, we have the name data frame with the names, their jobs and ages. This is the modified data frame that we've modified before. And, and it's also possible to um, use the Excel writer object to append something to an existing um, Excel file. And this is how we do it. We say, again, with dot excel writer and inside we put in the name of the file which was new file 2 dot xlsx and the only really difference here is that we um, apply the mode parameter and we put an a which stands for append the default value is write um, which basically creates a new one, but we want to append to an existing one, so we say A. And again, we say as writer. And here we say that we want to um, 
apply the data frame that we used in the first place um, and apply it to a new sheet within the existing file, within the existing um, Excel file. So we say df dot to Excel. Inside we put in writer and the sheet name is table three. We set the index to false and this again does not work because we have the uh, file, the Excel file opens, but if we close it, do it again and open it now, which again takes a moment, you see that there is indeed a third table, table three, and inside here we have the original data frame with the name, gender, job and age. Yeah, so that's basically it with uh, reading and writing Excel files. We've seen the whole workflow of reading in an Excel file, a little bit of modifying it and then writing it back to Excel. These are very essential skills um, when working with pandas because often, you know, the data comes from Excel. So we have to import it, import it correctly and export it back to Excel in a correct way. So thank you for your attention. I, ho I hope you learned something and I see you in the next tutorial.